Hey, what's up? This is Sinbad. I want to say, hey, you're watching This Week in Gambling. So for all you folks out there about to lose all your money, go broke, lose your wife, girlfriend, your car, your house, you can thank Jay Tom for all that. All right? my friends and welcome to another edition of This Week in Gambling where we have news to cover from Michigan, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. But first, it's this week's big story. Following the Supreme Court's decision to decriminalize sports betting in this country, it seems everyone wants their piece of the action. So far, eight states have regulated the activity, sports leagues and teams are partnering with casinos, and now even network television has jumped into the game. Fox Sports has been airing a program called Lock It In since September where they discuss sports gambling and actually make predictions on games. Now ESPN has launched Daily Wager, which looks at sports betting but does not actually make predictions on games. You know, the ESPN website already has articles and podcasts on sports betting, so really this wasn't totally unexpected. Speaking of sports betting, it looks like the state of Georgia will throw their hat in the ring sometime during this year. There's a resolution there which would regulate the activity at state-sanctioned gaming facilities. It does not mention online gambling anywhere in the wording. And while we're on the topic of internet betting, some of you out there may be wondering where the hell is Pennsylvania online gambling? After all, it was passed into law in October of 2017, and casinos started receiving online licenses in August of 2018. Here we are almost a quarter of the way through 2019 and nothing. Well, I don't want to dash anyone's hopes, but the wait will continue for a little while. I also don't want to get anyone's hopes up, but rumor has it that the Keystone State could go live with internet betting as soon as July 1st. In the meantime, and while we wait, online gambling legislation in Michigan is back. You may recall that the state was all set to regulate the activity when their outgoing lame duck Republican governor vetoed it. But now the bill is back. And now there's a Democrat sitting in the gubernatorial mansion. So hopes are high that this time, this bill will get passed into law. This week's special offer is for Royal Panda. Casino City has exclusive player specials for Royal Panda and thousands of other sites. Visit online.casinocity.com for details or follow the link in the description of this video. Jury selection has begun in a lawsuit involving the Las Vegas Sands Corporation and their chairman and CEO, Sheldon Adelson. A judge in this case has ruled that Mr. Adelson does not have to testify due to his deteriorating health conditions. Hopefully, Mr. Adelson still feels good enough to continue donating to his political causes and influencing policy. We have two game reviews to tell you about this week, just in time for St. Patrick's Day. The first is Leprechaun Hills, a five reel game with 40 pay lines from Quick Spin, featuring wilds, scatters, rainbow free spins, and lucky respins. Next up, it's Rain Brew from Microgaming. It comes with five reels and 1,125 pay lines. It also has a Sidewinder feature, which is always active, connecting wild symbols to create expanding wilds. Both of these reviews are live right now on our YouTube channel. You can see them there along with hundreds of other videos. And while you're on the channel, please support us by clicking that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell at the top of the page. Clicking that will give you updates every time we publish a new video. 
So this weekend gambling, some of y'all gonna be broke. Okay now, have fun. But I mean, well, if it's being broke ain't fun. But if you win, I want 10% because it's my good luck to help you out. All right. Okay, who's got the gum? <laughs>